Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's quick tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to install Figma plugins. Whether you're new to Figma or just looking to speed up your workflow, adding the right plugins can totally transform your design experience. By the end of this video, you'll know how to search for install and run any plugin you need, super easy with no guesswork. So let's jump straight in. First things first. Open up Figma and log into your account if you're not already there. You can use either the desktop app or just the web version in your browser, both work the same way for this. Figma plugins are a bit like bonus tools that can make your work faster and more creative, but before you can use them, you need to know where they live. Once you're in Figma, take a look toward the bottom of the left sidebar, you'll see an option called Actions. Click on that. Sometimes, things down at the bottom of an app can feel a bit hidden, but this is where Figma tucks away all the extra features, including plugins and widgets. Actions is kind of like the secret passageway to everything extra you might want to add to your Figma setup. After you click Actions, look for the section labeled Plugins and Widgets. This is your main hub for finding anything you want to add to Figma. You'll notice a search bar right there. Go ahead and click into that bar and start typing the name or category of the plugin you want. For example, let's say you want an icon plugin, which is a super common need if you're designing interfaces and want a library of ready-to-use icons. Just type icon and wait a moment. You'll see a list pop up showing lots of different plugins related to icons, all contributed by different creators. Each plugin offers a quick description and sometimes a rating or preview of what it does. If you're new to plugins, don't worry, browsing through these can be a great way to find handy tools you didn't even know you needed, like color palette generators, lorem ipsum fillers, or advanced alignment helpers. When you find a plugin that looks useful, just click on it. A little window will open with more details and sometimes screenshots or usage tips, so you can be sure it's what you want. From here, you'll see a button that lets you run or install the plugin, usually labeled Run or Install. Hit that button and Figma takes care of the rest in the background. This part is almost instant, but if it takes a few seconds, just be patient. The plugin will be ready to use in no time. Now the plugin is installed and you can start using it right away in your project. Some plugins might open a new window, pop up a panel, or offer new right-click options. If you ever want to remove a plugin or explore others, just repeat these same steps. Figma makes it simple and risk-free, and that's it. You've just leveled up your Figma skills by adding a new plugin. Remember, plugins can be real time savers. Think of them as little assistants in your design process. They're to help with all sorts of specialized tasks. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and let me know in the comments which Figma plugins are your favorites or if you have any questions about using them. Don't forget to subscribe for more practical design tutorials like this every week. Thanks for watching and happy designing.